Android 13 has finally been released after four months of beta testing. Many of the new features and modifications Google has been working on over the past year are included in this software, codenamed Tiramisu, which is currently available for many Android users. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top Android 13 features that you probably don't already know about. Hello and welcome to Tech Kaiju. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now, let's get into the video. Number 1. Material U Updates Material U, which was introduced with the Android 12 update, is a special way of customizing your user interface depending on your wallpaper, which affects the color scheme of Android. Simply put, Android matches your wallpaper's color palette. With Android 13's new preset color options, you now have more expressive possibilities to choose from. The icons for third-party apps are now included in this functionality, which was previously only available for system apps. This feature allows apps to adopt a tint in accordance with your backdrop and color preferences if developers choose to use it. Google is introducing more versatility by adding a total of 16 color selections in the settings, despite the fact that you are still not allowed to apply your own accent colors. Recall that Android 12 includes just 4 basic colors and 4 background colors. Google has also included media controls to Material U. When playing music, the player window changes colors to match the album cover and the progress bar transforms into an audio wave that moves in time with the music. Number 2. Notification Permission Android has arguably had the best notification system in the industry for a while now. However, notifications are notifications and they are usually always annoying. Nothing is worse than downloading a new app only to have your phone flooded with spam about things you have no interest in. In Android versions 12 and older, you need to grant permissions to access particular features like your location, camera and microphone and that was cool, but this is taken to a whole new level as in Android 13, you'll need to do the same thing for notifications. With this, the issue of a newly downloaded app overwhelming you with alerts and requiring you to access system settings in order to turn them off is finally resolved. You can now simply prevent an app from sending you notifications as soon as you install it. Might not seem like much, but this is definitely a handy feature to have. Number 3. Edit text from clipboard Ever felt the urge to make a quick edit to something you've copied? Now Android 13 makes it simple to do. When you cut or copy texts in Android 13, a pencil symbol is added to allow you to edit the information, building on the screenshot experience. This feature makes it simple to paste text from the clipboard and edit its contents. Notably, if you copy a number or a URL, it will even give you an option to call, message or open the link in Chrome. This is a nice update, but one that iOS users have had since forever, so Android is really only just catching up. Another intriguing feature is the clipboard's automatic deletion after an hour, which prevents shady apps from reading the clipboard and stealing private data. Gboard has had this feature, but with Android 13, any keyboard that you use will be able to make use of this security feature. Now, whenever an app accesses the clipboard, you are also notified, so keep a lookout for any suspicious behavior. Number 4. Copy items from one Android device and paste it to another More on the clipboard, Android 13 will soon enable copying and pasting between Android devices. You can copy text from your tablet and paste it on your phone, or you can copy an image from your phone and paste it on your tablet with ease. Number 5. Tap to transfer media playback between devices a media tab to transfer functionality will also be included in Android 13 according to various news. Users will be able to switch between media on their phone and that on other devices, most likely smart speakers. This feature might be similar to how you can easily move media playback from an iPhone to HomePod, yet another one from Apple's Playbook. According to the report, it might use NFC or UWB to transfer media playback. Number 6. Android Photo Picker Android 13 has adopted photo selection features similar to that of Apple's iOS. By using this new feature, you can restrict an app's access to specific images and videos as opposed to granting it access to your whole photo collection. This feature isn't exclusive to Android 13 either. The majority of devices that receive Google Play system upgrades and run Android 11 or higher will be able to use the photo picker functionality. Number 7. Per-app language personalization 
For those Android users who speak many languages, you can now change your preferred language for each individual app. As was indicated during beta tests, this unfortunately cannot be applied to all apps. Developers must choose to enable this feature. This somewhat restricts the feature's utility, but it still demonstrates promise, and we hope that it's improved in the future. After all, some people speak several languages depending on the circumstance. We expect this feature to come in very handy when third-party app developers begin to fully optimize their apps for this feature. Number 8. Redesigned Audio Output Picker Google is updating the media output selection in Android 13 in a striking visual makeover. You can now switch between available output devices, including Bluetooth headphones and phone speakers, using the output picker, which should not be mistaken with the expanded volume bar. The device name is supported in the volume slider, and it has a similar appearance to the quick settings tiles in Android 12. Although the functionality is the same as Android 12, the interface's consistency has been improved with this design update. Number 9. Cinematic Wallpapers and Wallpaper Dimming Moving 3D wallpapers will also be available on Android 13. You can use the feature to turn a photo into a 3D wallpaper using the Wallpaper Effects API. We will have to wait for the next beta release to see it in action though, as it's not yet live. There is also a new wallpaper dimming feature that also dims your current wallpaper, depending on the surrounding light, in order to help protect your eyes. Number 10. Google Wallet gets an update. Google Wallet has evolved beyond an ordinary service-oriented payment method. A new generic card tab in your wallet now allows you to save any card that isn't covered by previous pass types like membership cards and reservations. With Android 13, this function becomes a great digital replacement for real cards, adding to Google Wallet's already robust filing system for payment cards, gift cards, transport passes and immunization cards. The addition of digital IDs makes a significant improvement as well. For the Google Wallet, Google has been collaborating with foreign and US state agencies to allow digital IDs. This functionality is expected to launch later this year. Number 11. Better Battery Information The battery life of Android-powered smartphones was significantly improved with Android 12. Case in point, the infamous Pixel 4 devices suffered mightily under the strain of an underpowered battery. The Pixel 4 would hardly last from a quarter to half a day on Android 12. However, the battery life significantly increased after updating to Android 12. One significant improvement has been introduced in Android 13. The system will notify you silently if an app is draining the battery excessively. After being informed of the problem, you can either force the app to close or restart your device to fix the issue. Number 12. Bluetooth Low Energy Audio Standard Bluetooth audio streams have always been problematic, especially when it comes to multi-stream functionality and energy usage. However, with Android 13, Bluetooth Low Energy Audio is now completely realized. Users will benefit from low energy consumption while maintaining the same music quality, the option to simultaneously stream to numerous headphones and speakers, and complete compatibility with Google's new Bluetooth hearing aid protocol. This means that hearing aids will have more stable connections to Android than in earlier versions. Also, Google has entirely revamped its approach to security upgrades. The new Google System Update architecture divides the operating system into components, allowing updates to be distributed to devices for specific modules rather than having to update the full OS. This means speedier update rollouts and patching. Finally, Google has committed to rebuilding portions of the code base for important components in the secure languages such as Rust as well as creating the Google Play SDK index to provide further transparency of for the most widely used software development kits SDKs. So which of these features are you most excited about? Let us know down in the comments section.